if you were trading other types of assets such as stocks and bonds which typically go through a broker if you're on a uh, large exchange so the irs is trying to lock people down on that so that so that uh if if obviously you say that you did have transactions with digital assets the irs might expect to see like a schedule d for example showing income relation to the schedule to the digital assets if you say you did not then the IRS is, you would think they're trying to be able to say, well, uh, you can at least, you cannot claim that you didn't know about it because we told you here that you had to check that you had these transactions off. And, and so they're trying, I think they're trying to basically lock people down to recognize that, that they might have tax implications on the digital assets and not be able to claim that they didn't know because the digital assets are a new thing. Okay, so for example, check yes if any uh, time during 2023 you received digital assets as payment for property or services provided. So IRS, why would the IRS be skeptical of that? Well, if you get paid with digital assets, possibly that's you're not going to have the same kind of documentation as you as maybe if you got paid in other formats. Now that's kind of weird because you the digital assets actually have more of an audit trail oftentimes than other types of assets like if someone pays you with cash that's probably the thing that is most likely people will not report because it has the least audit trail if it doesn't go in and out of basically a bank account but because the digital assets are new they're they're going to be skeptical of that receive digital assets as a result of a of a reward or award so if you get a reward or an award then you still could have tax implications with that and of course the irs wants their piece of it even if you get paid in digital assets